Hi guys! So today I'm back with another what I eat in a day video. Um, so this morning I wasn't really feeling hungry. I, well, to be honest, it's been about a year or so where I haven't been really having breakfast like most of the time. So this morning I had some juice, a lot of water, and I had two cookies. So it wasn't necessarily a very healthy breakfast, but yeah, you know. I am trying to be easy on myself as things are very stressful and I'm not trying to add any more stress on trying to restrict myself and worry too much about what I am eating. Um, so for lunch I'm having something really delicious. I am having some polenta with some tofu and red and green bell peppers and it is all cooked in a tomato sauce with a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of um, uh, pepper as well, like the green pepper. So it should be really good. It is clearly, clearly, well, yeah, it is clearly Italian, I suppose, inspired, um, and it should be really nice. Mm. Um. Honestly, this is so good. Like, I really like polenta, first of all. And it's super easy for me to digest as well. And the peppers are really flavorful. Mm. And I also added some tofu. It is a pesto rosso tofu sort of thing. It really tastes like tomato and olives. So it really adds some flavor as well. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It really feels like a very rich and cooked dish, if you know what I mean. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Very good. So anyway, I'm going to eat now, and then I'm going to go back to studying, which is what I am doing every day, and I'll see you for dinner. Okay, so, um, yeah, anyway. So I am going to cook a Japanese curry. You might want, okay. It is really kind of hot and I also just really like having my windows open but I think it's noisy so yeah uh, so tonight I'm going to cook something I haven't had in a long time I'm going to have a Japanese curry um, it's usually not something I eat during summer time because it's just hot and kind of like a gravy sort of thing so yeah, but I have some carrots, I have some potatoes, and I have some soft tofu that I'm going to use happily because I didn't know what to do with this soft tofu and I was afraid it was going to go bad. But yeah, anyway, so I am now peeling the vegetables, which is something I fucking hate doing. And I thought I would take this as an opportunity to chat with you a little bit because in my last, was it my last? I don't even remember, but I feel like in my last um, what I eat in a day video, which was a chatty one, not a very artsy one, you guys told me that you actually like this. So yeah, let's do it like this. So what could I talk to you about? talk about vlogs and vlogging and videos in general. So a lot of you have been complaining about the fact that I'm not making as many videos in English as I used to do and that's true. I mean I'm making maybe 
half as much I would say videos as I used to do in English but I still make about I mean I still upload very regularly I'd say so I just peeled the potatoes I just peeled the two carrots um, one more potato to go I still upload about once or twice a week which I think is not too bad right um, but I just wanted to reassure you and say once again that as soon as my exams are over it's probably gonna change a lot um, no matter the end result because if I succeed if I pass those exams which I really hope to pass so fingers crossed if you guys could cross as well all of the fingers that you have and pray to all the gods that you want to pray um, that would be really nice so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to cut those in like just to give you an idea I'm going to show you the size I like to have pieces about that size you know so they're quite easy to cook through um, but yeah uh, if I pass I'm gonna be busy obviously preparing the classes and working but my mind is gonna be so much more at peace and when work will be done work will be done I won't have any other like exam to prepare for or whatever and I'm so excited because I really want to uh, pick up a few things that I used to do with you like the book club like the blog and stuff so really excited for that really and if I fail which obviously I do not hope but is a possibility so I've been trying to figure out what I could do if I fail um, I mean it, it, it's still very difficult for me to just imagine because I have a job at the moment and as I told you the job doesn't pay well but it is it still you know I mean I know it's so difficult nowadays to get a job so it's like it's something that's valuable and so reassuring as well in our society and um, if I wanted to live in Paris to keep on living in Paris I would definitely need to earn money and therefore to keep the job but I think the job was really the one thing getting in the way as well as my mental health when it comes to um, this competitive exams so you know if I fail and if I want to attend I mean attempt um, those competitive at this competitive exam again I will need to stop working so or work from home like teach online so that would it, it be more manageable for me and less exhausting with the commute the public transport and everything but um, yeah so I have cut the carrots as well and what I love about the curry is that it's so simple you just cut things roughly just to give you an idea that's how I'm gonna add the shallots just like this no big deal you cook them a little bit in some oil just to give them some flavor and some color then you add some water you let cook for as long as you wish really I like my vegetables to be really soft so it's probably gonna be 20-25 minutes for me and then you add your curry paste or curry cubes since Japanese curry comes in cube so let's like, just move from here because I feel like it is getting a bit noisy for you guys so things are cooking a little bit but yeah as oh wow <laughs> so as I was telling you uh, if I fail I'm thinking of teaching online um, and really focusing on making videos on making content online on patreon maybe even starting a podcast just offering you as much material and content as I can so that um, you guys are perhaps willing to oh, support me on Patreon which would this is the most unprofessional and unpleasant <laughs> vlogging I've ever done sorry for that but yeah um, so that I can earn more money from 
basically what I'm doing right now and it would be literature reviews, videos about feminism, about veganism, about anti-racism, about culture. I could even potentially start up a different YouTube channel uh, focused on French, like learning French, reading in French, French pronunciation and that kind of stuff because I know that a lot of you guys really enjoyed those videos that I used to do a long time ago. So those are all options I have if I fail at the exam. Um, but it would require me to move, so uh, I would need to get away from Paris, probably, I'd say. Um, and, you know, rent a flat that would be significantly cheaper and I would prepare and study for my competitive exams from home by myself, probably with like signing up for a university course online if that's available. Um, so I have tried to, you know, be open about the different possibilities, but as I was telling you, no matter what happens, I think it is going to be a positive on YouTube, as in I will publish and upload and update, you know, my YouTube channel, my blog hopefully, my Patreon a lot more. So yeah, this is getting really noisy, I think it is starting to be a bit too hot in there, so I'm gonna add water and I'll see you when it's time for the curry. Okay, so now that you have your vegetables in, you add some water. You actually need to add quite a bit of water. This is good, I think. So, yeah. So now you just want to mix it a little bit and you're gonna cook it, as I said, for as long as you want. It also depends on what kind of vegetables you, uh, you have, but usually in a curry, in a Japanese curry, I mean, it's usually carrots, onions, potatoes. You okay guys, I almost forgot to film for you. So this is what the curry looks like. It's very thick and you have some potatoes, some carrots and I added some soft tofu and it's gonna be delicious and it's gonna go on top of some beautiful white rice. So yes, uh, pretty simple. It's honestly just so easy and so tasty and flavorful and comforting and quite healthy because it's just vegetables and some rice and you could have bran rice even. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video guys. I'm gonna eat now and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye!